What's up guys, Shappy here, and I'm going to show you how to do a, uh, a Photoshop uh, restoration. Pretty simple, I mean, it's, it's two steps, I mean, you guys will get it, it's easy. Here is the before, alright, and here is the after, before, and after. All right, guys. Let's get uh, let's get straight into this. First off, what you want to do, you want to go to your uh, your clone stamp tool, which is uh, located on the the left bar there, <clears throat> and the hotkey for that is S. So press S, and you'll go straight to it. All right. Now, what you want to do, you want to hold Alt, and you see how you have that little uh, crosshair symbol. That is the material that you are sampling right so <clears throat> let's say we want to uh, remove this big crack here all we have to do is grab a material that doesn't have a crack click and then we can start painting that material on right and just keep repeating this step till you have uh, till you have the background filled in the way I do it I pretty much uh, get my background first and then I start working inwards okay get some up here and it's it's trial and error guys I mean the more time you put into it the better it's gonna look but uh, for the sake of this video not being too long I'm just gonna try to quickly go through it okay get some over here mm, just about got it lower your flow down to get like uh, if there's hair that you have to edit around just uh, lower your flow and it won't uh, remove the hair and it will still blend it into the background okay all right now let's try to fix uh, let's try to fix the ground here same steps just get a material that you want to sample Let's increase my flow back up and then we're just going to start painting this on oops and if you make a mistake like this you can press control Z to go back or control alt and Z to go back multiple steps okay just something to uh, to keep in mind whenever you're doing these uh, photo restorations and as I said you just gotta you just gotta take your time and the more you put into it the more the more you're gonna get out of it now let's fix this on the bottom same thing just with the just get the clone stamp tool sample it and you can go to both sides with it now right under her dress we're just gonna get the material and we're going to move it just a little bit same thing on this side and we're just going to take this all the way out alright <coughs> now let's try to fix this grass real quick or I think that's grass I'm not sure As you guys can see, this this uh, photo is already starting to look a hundred times better. And we'll grab some of that 
that grass from right here and we'll try to let me lower my brush a little bit and we'll just fix this in here increase my brush size And as I say, guys, it's not going to be perfect, but the more you, uh, the more time you put into it, the better it's going to look. Now let's see if we can fix our hair here. Pretty much the only tools that you need to do these photo restorations is uh, your clone stamp. Well, your clone stamp is your main tool, in my opinion. And we we can just kind of lower my flow a little bit, and we can just kind of quickly put these. Uh, these little details back on our dress fix our arm here let me make my brush a little bit smaller I'm just trying to uh, grab some of that that shadow And then we'll grab this part right up here. And then on her shirt, same steps. Lower your flow down just a little bit. That way you don't uh, remove too much of the fabric. And you can also press F5 and uh, change the rotation of your brush if you can't get it just right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we'll get her hair. same way just sample different parts of her hair and I'm not sure what that is but we'll we'll fix it a little bit too and yeah guys that's uh that's pretty much it um, <coughs> super simple and I mean the more time the more time you spend putting into it the better it's gonna look well, alright guys that was it for this video and uh, like always like and subscribe and we'll see you next time